We are frequently asked, how do I order the correct pant fit? First, understand that our garments are designed for loose fit to enhance mobility, comfort, and concealment. We did not design skin-tight clothes. You can sit, squat, and perform knee strikes with a firearm in your front holster pocket. Second, measure a pair of your existing loose-fitting pants. Do not rely upon your existing labels. Our pants are made true to size. Please follow our measurement method demonstrated here and then order accordingly. After you've received your CCW Breakaways pants, you'll need to adjust the holster pockets for your specific firearm. First, turn the pants inside out. And understand that the holster pockets were designed to be universal in nature and adjustable for a wide variety of body shapes and firearm sizes. Let's examine the procedure for standard adjustments. So with your pants turned inside out, lay them on a flat surface. Notice that there is a holster pocket for left and right-handed users. Take your firearm and place it on the outside of the holster pocket which hangs from the inside of the pant. Simulate putting your hand into the pocket to draw. Get a full gun grip. Allow enough clearance for your knuckles to clear the bottom seam here. Your optimum withdrawal speed will come when you don't have to fish for the object at the bottom of your pocket. Then fold over the Velcro tab to create the pocket's new bottom, which becomes the muzzle's resting point. If you have a smaller firearm, just fold the Velcro over at a different location. Allow me to demonstrate two more models. Let's take a quick tangent here and discuss the firearm sizes and concealment. We have customers who carry and conceal a wide variety of firearm sizes, some as large as the FN57 and some as small as a Caltech 380. Understand these principles. First, individuals with larger waists can conceal larger firearms because there is a greater distance from the inner thigh to the outer seam. Second, khakis and cargos can conceal larger firearms than jeans because the pocket openings extend to the outer seam, whereas the jeans have a traditional scooped pocket. This layout presents four increasingly sized pants overlapping one another. Notice the common reference for the firearm location is the leading edge of the firearm grip. Notice also the gap from the end of the firearm grip to the edge of the side seam. This distance varies by model and by waist size. Again, larger waists can conceal larger firearms more easily. Turn the pants right side out and try them on. Use a sturdy belt for support. Notice that the jeans design adds one extra offsetting belt loop for weight distribution. To find your optimum comfort and concealability, you may go through several iterations of adjusting your holster pockets either up or down or laterally. The khakis, the cargos, and the jeans both provide vertical adjustment. Only the khakis and the cargos provide lateral adjustment. 
Remember, holster pockets are universal in nature and adjustable. They accommodate a wide variety of body shapes and firearm sizes. If your needs fall outside of the standard Velcro adjustment features, you can customize your holster pockets. Individuals routinely hem their pant inseam lengths. This person did not need adjustability because he was not routinely changing firearms. He needed a smaller holster, so he hemmed the standard pocket. Before permanently altering your holster pockets, we encourage marking the desired location with chalk and creating a temporary holster with safety pins. Wear the garment for a period of time until you've found just the right location. When you're certain of your objective, you may choose to have a tailor or a seamstress make your hemmed pockets permanent. 